Yes, come on Phoenicians, welcome back to Thirsty Thursdays. Today I have something special for you from Baird. This is a holiday themed beer. This is called the Jubilation Ale. And it's very, well, it's 8%. I don't know why I didn't open it already. That's the ticket. I went to Baird last night, I was asking them for suggestions and I had a barley wine. I wanted that barley wine in a bottle, but I couldn't find it. That barley wine was amazing. By the way, dude, great hand array. Congratulations, man, on hitting a hundred, or uh, hitting a million subscribers. If you haven't seen this dude's channel, oh my god, you gotta check out this guy's channel. It's fucking awesome. Like, he's the funniest dude on YouTube right now. So, congratulations to you, buddy. But let's pour the good old Jubilation Ale in this thing. My Brewdog mug. Or glass. It doesn't bubble up that much. It's a, a very um, thick looking beer. A little bit hazy. It heads up pretty nice, as you can see here. Eh, it's slightly hazy. What does it say on untapped? If you don't have untapped, you better get untapped. This is called the winter warmer, actually, and it's pretty damn cold outside. But wait, it says 8%. Maybe this is a different batch for this year, I don't know. Because on untapped, it says it's. Yeah, okay, maybe this, this is from two, uh, 2014 then. Oh, right now it says no longer in production. I'm confused. <laughs> the 2015 version, I, I honestly don't know. Whatever, I'll just check into Jubilation Ale itself. Because on, on Untapped, it, it, it just shows all of them. And all of them are winter warmers, except for the 2012 beer. So from 2014 onwards, it's been a winter warmer. I'll have to propose an edit. This is definitely 8% alcohol, that's what it says on the bottle. ABV 8. Let's check in. Definitely does have a warm, like, smell to it. Not sure what a winter warmer is. Let's, uh, let's go to good old Google Sensei, see what I can find here. Oops. I guess the winter warmer, oh, here it is, it's under old ale. A winter warmer is a traditionally malty, sweet, strong ale that is brewed in the winter months. It is usually quite dark, as you can see. Not as dark as the stout, but a very big malt presence. Winter warmers have a few spices, especially in the United States. They are very high in alcohol volume. Ah, there's some spices in this, that's for sure. So thank you, Wiki, for Wikipedia Sensei. Well, cheers to the cold February. Cheers to uh, good old Great Anne Array, one of the one of my favorite YouTubers right now. He's a, he's a boss, dude. He's a fucking boss. So cheers, guys. And cheers to Bear too, right? Oh, that's so good. I love the spices on this one. Oh my god. Mm. Yeah, there's a very good amount of spice in this beer. Um, yeah. Oh my god, this is great. I could tell this was slightly uh, conditioned in the bottle. It was packaged back in uh, October. So they, they would package it in October, wait until the winter season to sell it. Mm. That is really good. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's beer review video. If you did, hit that like button. Also, thank you guys for coming by the streams that I did today. I was doing some test streams to see if it was uh, viable for the uh, channel. I just wanted to see how the technology worked. Um, I'm, I'll, I will leave those up because actually those got a lot of views and you know, that helps me out a lot too. And uh, if you want to do more of those streams, I'm thinking about doing a live stream every week, sometime during the week when I play GTA with my friends. Uh, let me know what day would work. I'm thinking about doing it on like week, like a Saturday or Sunday in the, uh, in the evening. Um, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about that. And of course, be sure to uh, go ahead and find yourself this beer during the winter season. Mm, that is good. Good work, Baird. Good work. Thank you to the guys at the store for suggesting this, of course. <laughs> and I will see you all in the next video. Cheers, Phoenicians.